Schulte, I can tell by your girth and having known you personally for quite a while that you're a man of exceptional taste. That you're a, a chef. You know, you love to eat good foods. You know how to make fabulous foods. And you've bought some Southern Comfort Turnish. Hold on, let me see. Southern Comfort Eggnog. Ultra pasteurized. Uh, and it says uh, non-alcoholic and you also had some pumpkin eggnog earlier. Now, Correct. I wondered, I saw you having eggnog for, I thought, breakfast, which I thought was awfully rich because there's 190 calories on every four ounces. But now you're telling me that you are you have to heat it up. What do you heat up eggnog for? Because you have to keep eggnog in the refrigerator. So explain to me what you're going to do. Uh, well, I love eggnog, and as we all know, eggnog is not available year-round, only during the holiday season. Although Borden does make a canned eggnog that is available year-round, but it's not one of the better brands. Fresh eggnog is, is much better. So, in the uh, holiday times, I like to have as much eggnog as possible, and now right. that it's January 3rd, it's going to be increasingly difficult to find it. So, and what I, did that cost? I don't know. I think I saw a thing, six forty nine on one Probably receipt. Six dollars. Okay. Anyway, so during the holidays, I oftentimes will in the morning will make an eggnog latte, and how you do that is, you pour the eggnog into a right. cup. Right. Right. Now, just out of curiosity, before I'm, I want to know because it's one hundred ninety calories. If you don't mind, would it be possible for you to? Oh, to, 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 no, pour that amount of eggnog in here and we'll pour it back in there. You can rinse this out if you want to. It's, it's clean. I was only using it to put my, uh, I don't know what I use it for. I use, I use it to put the frozen vegetables in. So it's fine. Just, just, oh, well, you're so, so, so clean. Such a clean queen. Yes. Okay, now how many ounces does that come to? Eight. Eight. Okay, so we have now. 380 calories of eggnog. So after the eggnog, how long do you heat the eggnog for? So it's very simple. After oh, you put the coffee in before you even heat uh, it? Yeah. Oh, you do? So I like, then you take the coffee. Yeah. I put in two. That's a huge, huge tablespoons. That's about right. Okay. And uh, then I heat it up for oh. a minute and a half. Okay, so you stir it first or not? You don't. Yeah. You don't even stir it. You stir it after. Okay, a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. But you really have to watch that because my my microwave can get very very hot sometimes, <laughs> yes, especially. I know. That's why I don't fill it up well, the entire way, which I ordinarily would do. Oh, okay. Okay, so thank you very much, and we'll, I, I'm sure it's going to taste you don't delicious. Need, and then it has all the sweetener, it has everything in it, so I don't have to add any extra sugar. You don't have anything. to add any 15 calorie a teaspoon sugar no, it's in your 400 there. calorie cup of coffee? It's all there. Of egg, what's it called? Again? Eggnog, eggnog latte? Eggnog latte. Okay, and can I put this up on vid on, on yeah, set over with fine. a light? Isn't this one's fine. This one's fine. Okay, well, thank you very much. <coughs> and can I also just point out that having eggnog latte coffee that comes with a price? All right, and you tell me how horrible it is that I'm fat shaming you for this. I'm used to it. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's sort of it's sort of like that episode of All in the Family where Mike says to Edith, Edith, don't you get upset when Archie calls you a dingbat and Edith says, Well, Mike, every time Archie calls me a dingbat, I always hear a little sweetheart in it. You always and what? Yeah. I always hear a little sweetheart in it. Oh. So oh. every time Randy calls me a fat so I always hear a little sweetheart in it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that... That you're not going to get steep low like some people on Facebook have done and accuse me of fat shaming you. Thank you, Mr. Schultz. And I think everyone that would, what do you weigh, 250 what? 250. And so anyone that wants to weigh 250 should have, consider having egg lat, eggnog latte or to get the 500 calorie kick out of 8 ounces early in the morning. I also just recently picked up an, uh, a recipe for scrambled eggnog. And I'm looking forward to... What is scrambled eggnog? You fry it for 20 minutes and it turns eggy. It's like scrambled eggs, but it's with eggnog. Really? Yes. Wait a minute, you scramble eggnog mm -hmm. like in a pan? Mm-hmm. 
Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to that. So that would that would be. Uh, but I'll only tasty. make it if you if you uh, eat a big dish of it. No, I am on my <laughs> diet. My New Year's, I'm going back down. I've gained four pounds over the holidays, and that's look how that isn't oh. that gorgeous. Oh. But look, that's, that's a big, it looks like a, actually, it looks like a big black something. It looks like a big turd, doesn't it? Oh, don't, don't say, <laughs> don't use four other words. It looks like feces. <laughs> so, actually, I could, I could make eggnog latte for you and actually slip in a piece of feces without you knowing it and pretend to be your, to be your butler serving you, sir, serving you your eggnog oh, in the morning. Oh, that would be wonderful. Would you really enjoy that? And after you ate it, after you drank it, you would say, there's something that tastes, or there was something that tastes different about this eggnog. Well, thank you very much, Master Chef Mark Schulte. And what hotel will you be working as a Master Chef at next, do you know? <laughs> do you have any ambitions to work as a chef? No. No? Because you love mm. food and you love to cook. That's surprising. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. <coughs> Yum, 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 yum. Oh, oh, this is getting, this is, I'm becoming, I'm not only fat shaming, I'm becoming physically abusive. I can imagine how they're going to attack me on, when I put this up on, the link up on Facebook, they're going to accuse me of all sorts of, of fat shaming negativity. And I'm going to say, well, somebody, somebody with, with your figure should be fat shamed. I'm considered my... I got the Buddha within empowering me from going to the Buddhist temple last night, so I'm on a tear to, to make the world a better place. That's yeah. partly in helping you become more healthy in your eating habits. Mm. That's why I'm sharing this to put people on, on, on alert about the dangers, about the dangers and results of eggnog latte. Thank you very much, Mr. Mark Schulte.